All right, what's up, heroes? This is Balance Perfect. Come at you with another ranked game. This time we are playing on Infernal Shrines as Lieutenant Morales, the new StarCraft II medic hero that came to the Nexus uh, with this most recent patch, uh, which also brought some nice warrior changes, some buffs for Stitches, Diablo, ETC, um, and some nice UI changes that you'll see in just a second here as we go into the loading screen. But now let's talk about the team composition a little bit and what might happen in this game. So, um, by the way, looks awesome. This is amazing. I love how it shows people's levels and the heroes. You can kind of theory craft while you're waiting here. Uh, if someone's got a slow computer. Anyways, we've got Nazebo and Jaina as our damage dealers. They are very AOE centric damage dealers, which is great on this map because during those shrine fights, everybody gets clumped together. You got AOE damage, uh, giving you some collateral, you know, skull kills while you're while you're killing everybody that's clumped up the is especially great because um the area that you have to enter into the shrines can easily be locked off with a zombie wall trapping everybody in and then jaina comes crashing down with the blizzard of course lyric is our tank but you know he's also gonna do a lot of damage a lot of aoe damage at that he did get nerfed just a little bit in his skeletal swing and his awesome renewal but that's about it so he's largely largely is still the same aside from his crazy OP skeletal swing that kills everything in one hit. No time to wait. Um, so going into the laning phase here, I'm probably going to stick with Jaina. Um, I feel like Nazebo can solo a little bit better than Jaina can. He's got some abilities that can you know, keep him alive for, uh, during ganks. Like he can block people off with a zombie wall, check spiders and, and run away, dismount people. Uh, whereas Jaina, I feel like is a little more squishy and needs a little more babysitting in the early game um level one talents to be honest i'm not a fan of any of these talents they just don't feel you know super over un, like super overwhelming feedback loop i like it because it gives me mana and i found uh, medic can be mana heavy at, at certain times but i'm actually gonna go with the one that gives my safeguard a little longer duration Scouting drone might actually be pretty good because there's so many little nooks and crannies on this map and little, you know, bushes and the flames. I'm worried about overextending a little bit trying to go around and place that, especially since I have no way of healing myself. So I'm probably going to go with the safer option. Alright, anyways, going to check this bush with my grenade. Yep, there's people there. So that we don't get ganked. And... Jaina's heading bottom, so I'm going to stay middle lane to try and soak a little bit. Since my gank potential is next to none with my displacement grenade not being able to... Or it's really hard for my displacement grenade to not knock anybody back. So I've got to be careful. Jaina's going to get wrecked, but I think my healing beam should be able to keep her alive. Medic's got amazing single target damage mitigation and damage healing. It's, it's pretty crazy, and especially during these early days when she just comes out people don't realize that so they they, they underestimate how much medic can keep somebody alive so hopefully we'll see some of that coming into play where you can almost force somebody to overextend because they just feel like they're going to get that kill but you pop that resistance and the healing beam on you know your the, the person that's getting targeted down and they just don't die as they walk away Anyways, heading top now, because the shrines have activated up here. The first shrine is a pretty big deal on this map. Or all, all of them are, just because the Mortal Punisher is just so strong. And it's a pretty snowballing map. We're just kind of vying for position right here. Having Lyric follow me. Uh oh, taking some damage from Kelthus' abilities. And I'm getting body blocked by this Lyric and taking some extra damage that I don't need to take. Especially in the early game, this can suck because I have no way of healing myself. Okay, I'm gonna get the healing beam on Zebo to make sure he's alive. Vying for position, but we're losing position because we've got that Abathur pick. And it's not bad that we have Abathur, but just in the early game, we're gonna be down a player to try to contest for these shrines. But hopefully we can make up for that in experience. We're level 4 now. Uh, gonna go for the advanced block just because they have that Illidan, they have that Rainer, and late game, it's just gonna wreck uh, without that block. And again, uh, as I was saying earlier, Lieutenant Morales really has no way of healing herself unless you pick that couples therapy talent at level, I think, what is it, 13 or something? So, oh, I need to watch out. I'm a little forward. Oh man, Punisher just spawns. I feel like I might be dead here. And try to run away. Okay, 
I'm gonna be fine. They didn't go too hard on me. Oh, sh okay. Uh, yeah, <laughs> okay. I'm gonna be fine now. I'm gonna use my last bit of mana to heal Jaina and her stone back. Okay, looks like Abathur is doing a pretty nice job pushing in the bottom lane. Not too worried about that. Top lane, the Punisher is almost down. They've got Jaina and Lyric there. I'm gonna go middle lane to help out Nazebo. He's pretty low, so I want to heal him back up. So things are pretty even on the board. Zero kills, six uh, level six to level six. Although we need to try to find some advantage in the early mid game because their entire team is or a, a large chunk. Of, oh god, wait, Zebo. Nah, he's gonna be fine. That healing beam keeping him alive. But yeah, their entire team is pretty late game focused with that Kelthus, Rainer, and Illidan. All three of their big damage dealers um, start to ramp up heavily in the late mid game. And rotate bottom. Level seven. Let's see, what should we go for? Maybe cleanse? Cleanse. Yeah. Looks like Jaina handled it, bot, so we're good. And that's the first kill at four minutes and 45 seconds. I think cleanse is going to do me more good than any of the other level seven talents. Oh no, Jaina. Nazebo is going to go down there for the rotation. I'm probably going to stay mid just to soak experience. But yeah, currently I feel like Medic's talents are kind of underwhelming. But people might have not found, you know, their ideal talent build yet because she is so new. So I'll, I'll, I'll give her the benefit of the doubt. She is definitely really, really good at keeping one person alive at the very least. And uh, team fight starts. Hopefully, I can show off some of her crazy uh, sustain heals. All right, keeping Ly Lyric alive. He's gonna get wrecked by Illidan if I don't go there and try to help him out. All, all I'm doing is just pushing away Illidan and healing up our Lyric. Now Jane is low, so I'm gonna try to get to her. I wish there was a talent that increased the healing beam uh, range. I feel like that'll be a lot more substantial than some of her other talents she's got right now. This is not looking too good. Lyric's going down. Although I don't expect to win too much of these early game fights, although we are trying. Illidan's jumping in, but he knows he's not going to be able to kill Jaina with my healing beam on her. Just keeping our two damage dealers alive. If they turned around and focused us, we'd probably be dead. Uh-oh. Zebo is going to be fine. Nice. Rainer killed. Nice, we're level 10. Stim drone is the safe choice, but medevac dropship is the fun choice. Oh god, team fight. Let's fight this first. Pushing Illidan away. He's trying to kill me, which is pretty good, but luckily it's still fairly early on and on in the game, and he doesn't do that much damage yet. So yeah, I went for medevac dropship. Hopefully we can make some dream plays with this. Um, but it's gonna require some good communication. And so far, I feel like my team is gonna be capable for that. They've been, I feel like we've been working together pretty well. No issues, no one being toxic. We've got a good start to the game. Uh, it is all solo queue, so that's, you know, a layer of complexity that I have to deal with. Trying to coordinate everyone. Oh god, Kelth is just eating a slam to the face. Nice gravity laps from him. Nice, great Ravenous Spirit. Nazebo saw that Kelthus didn't have gravity laps anymore, so he just threw that out and we're zoning out everybody as well. Lyric's taking some damage, so I'm gonna go in and try to heal him up. I also need to remember to use my cleanse a little bit more. I actually didn't realize that the casting range of cleanse was that large. For some reason, I thought it was very, very low. It was like almost like an Envenom um, radius, but it's actually huge. Punisher going in, creating space for us. So we're going to be able to grab the towers pretty easily, hopefully. There wasn't a lot of focus. Oh god, I'm getting hunted. Uh-oh. Gotta run, gotta run. 
Okay. I'm in a good position now. I'm going to turn around and heal Mzebo. Chuck that grenade. Oh, shoot. What? Okay. That, that grenade actually didn't help. It somehow it detonated, it detonated behind Rainer. And... Okay, we're gonna medevac dropship up to the mercenary camp because I want to use this Here we go guys. Look at that. Look at that graphic overlay. So sick Instant port to the mercenary camp and we're gonna head back plus the cooldown of it is only 50 seconds And it only costs 60 mana and to put that into perspective. That's as much mana as my safeguard So level 13, um, the choices here are pretty good to be honest. I don't like intensive care because I'm going to lose mana even faster than I have been. Uh, preventative care is pretty good, especially against their team with Raynor and Illidan. Um, I'm worried about having no ability to heal myself, so I'm leaning towards the couples therapy. Yeah, I feel like I just got to go for that one because... Okay, well, I kind of re regret my choice just a little bit, but we'll, we'll, we'll see how it pans out. I do think that the reduced attack speed one could be really good for mitigating the damage coming out from Raynor and Illidan since they're big auto attackers. But then on the other hand, I think Couples Therapy is going to help me stay in the fight and stay near the wounded heroes a lot better than if I didn't have any way of healing myself. Anyways, looks like a team fight's brewing. Coming in, pushing people around, making sure everybody can stay alive, not get jumped too hard. Keeping Jaina alive, cleansing her out once she gets hunted. Oh god. Oh man, we're just getting exploded right now. But the Zebo got a nice spot to do a Ravenous Spirit, which did a lot of damage. That was our redemption play, to be honest. Lyra going in hard. He totally can because he's he's a boss like that. Quad kill with Uther. Damn, we got all of them? Almost? Okay, nah. Kelthus managed to run away. This is great though. This is going to give us a nice leg up in this game and that's going to free us up to probably summon an Arcane Punisher, although it takes 40 minions, so that takes you know, a decent chunk of time. They do have some time to come back and react to this, I think. Rainer coming in and try to contest. Damn, we're only at 30, 32. They're at two though, so I feel like regardless, as long as we, won't, we don't get wiped here, we should be fine. Healing up Lyric, uh-oh. Cleansing Jaina again. Man, Illin is doing a good job of targeting Jaina, but I'm gonna keep her alive. And look, he's totally overextending for this kill. Um, wow, he actually managed to kill Jaina, which is surprising. But at least we, at least we killed him off. Although that's not a good trade because they're gonna get a lot of experience for killing off Jaina since we're two levels ahead of them right now. So one for one trade is still going to be in their favor. Oh, look at that double zombie wall. That's pretty nice. Gravity Lapse misses. The Invulnerable is probably going to keep Uther alive. Great spot for the, that um, Ravenous Spirit. Nazebo has been picking really nice little nooks and crannies on this map to throw out that ability. Let's see if we can get Uther. Yeah, we're going to be able to. I don't think we'll get Johanna or anybody else. Just going to back off. Push Illidan away. Oh no, I'm getting hunted. I'm definitely dead here. Yeah, with no way to heal myself. That's the issue. Uh, level 16. Uh, safeguard. Inoculation. Reduces 50% damage in the first 1.5 seconds. Upgrading my grenade, which I don't feel inclined to do. Um, so I guess I'm going to have to go for shield sequence. The only thing with Safeguard that I've noticed that I don't like is that often, because uh, after you use it, it shows, you know, how much damage you mitigated. Rarely do I mitigate more than I feel like 200 to 250 damage. Unless someone's just getting nuked super hard, like let's say they have a Pyroplast coming towards them or something, um, and a bunch of other spells. So I just feel like it's essentially... I'm using 60 mana to give somebody like a 300 point shield and that's not even guaranteed so that's that's what and it doesn't do any anything else it doesn't you know slow the attack speed of the attacker it doesn't do anything to the attacker attacker 
it so it just it's really underwhelming I, I i have to say maybe i'm just not using it right maybe i'm not using the right scenarios maybe it's really good for you know a tank that's going in or maybe it'll it'll be really good on, on artanis or illidans who jump into the fight but then i feel like 20 percent reduction damage if you're jumping deep into the fight isn't gonna help like tremendously and it's hard for medic to follow those melee assassin divers into the fight too because your healing beam only has limited range plus you're pretty squishy yourself so if you're following an illidan into the fight they're just gonna ignore illidan and blow you up so she's she's gonna take some time to figure out where exactly her role is in in a team during a team fight i feel and i hope it, uh, to see some buffs maybe to the safeguard anyways lyrics going in we're gonna try to contest this oh god he's going in really deep yeah he's gonna die nice ravenous spirit but i feel like he's just gonna get yeah he's gonna get canceled by that blessed shield oh man we're getting completely wiped out that was not good I'm gonna try to heal up zebo while pushing away johanna oh no the hunt Illidan didn't use hunt oh man zebo you can do it nice he survived that wow so that wasn't too bad and double zombie wall trapping uther right there oh no i went out of position for just a little bit i'm gonna die i should not have tried to go back and heal yeah i would really also like to see a talent that increases the range on my you know healing beam because medic is already squishy and she has to be pretty close to the person that she's trying to heal and she has to stay close to the person she's trying to heal so all of that puts her in a lot more danger than a healer which you know like uther you just chuck a spell on somebody and they're healed and you just walk away if you're low or whatever oh god don't die guys but yeah so that's another kind of anti-synergy with her skills because she has no way of healing herself unless you take couples therapy which is still just you know a decent mm, ish amount of heal it's not it's not super great but let's say Rhaegar, Uther, you pop your abilities. If you're low, you can go back in, pop your abilities on somebody, and then run away again. Whereas Medic, if you're low, you go in, you have to heal them and stay with them. So just an interesting thing. I, I feel like that's going to make couples therapy um, a lot. Oh, okay. We're going to Medivac dropship in. Oh, I think I'm a little late to the fight though here. Jaina. Oh man, that hunt. Illidan's doing a really great job at focusing me, to be honest. So props to him, but... Wow, we, we actually managed to get a triple kill. I didn't even notice. Not bad, not bad, team. Only Johanna is alive here. They did manage to summon the Punisher. Level 20, I'm just gonna go for Storm Shield. Just gonna go with what I know. Johanna going hard on Nazebo. Nazebo staying with them. He's going to be fine. As long as there's nobody too bursty, Medic can pretty much keep somebody alive indefinitely. As long as she has mana. Good kill. Good kill. Nazebo has had some nice zombie walls this game, so props to him. We're level 20 to level 18. We need to try to press this advantage because even though we are level 20 and two levels ahead our team is not built for late game only nazebo on our team is really built built for late game because um he's got that trait that increases his health and mana pool the more kills he gets so as more of the games goes the more health he's gonna have he's almost at like a tank level health probably towards the late game but Jaina kind of falls falls off post level post level 20 and illidan rainer kelthus these guys are scary ass in the late game looking for a spot to maybe medevac dropship but don't want to bring my team to a terrible location and jana's going to go for the mercenary camp that's a pretty good choice we're debating, debating starting a fight or not starting a fight, but I guess it's really not up to me. As a medic, there's no way for you to initiate unless you medevac dropship, and that's too big of a risk to take. So getting mercenary camps is not bad. 
Although we are giving them the space to get level 20, so we're going to be level 20. Or they're going to be level 20 during the next fight for sure. There's the shrine. Should we fight this? This could be scary. Okay, but we're just going to get ready for this. They don't know we're here, so we've got that going for us. We've got that element of surprise. Avatar is pushing bottom, so he's going to add some pressure. Staying together so Illidan gets bursted. We gotta watch out for that Kelta's living bomb though. That could hurt. I'm gonna go Storm Shield. Oh no, this is a terrible position. Illidan goes, oh man. Great play from Illidan. I gotta watch out for that hunt. We're just gonna get picked apart here. Nice Ravenous Spirit from Zebo, but unfortunately there's not a lot of follow up after that to pick anybody off. Illidan actually goes down. Interesting. Okay, interesting. Well done by Nazebo. He's going to be able to stall for some time. Maybe he'll get a J Johanna kill even. No. Almost. But I really, yeah, I really need to watch out for that Illidan hunt. And we probably shouldn't be staying together like that. <laughs> We're just asking to get wrecked by Johanna's Condemn and Kelthus' Living Bomb. That's Those are the only two abilities they need to just wreck us if we're clumped. And in the future team fights, I really need to watch out for the Illidan hunt. I feel like he's been targeting me with the hunt, which is very, very smart. If he takes me out, then our team has no more sustain. Try my best to wipe this top, but have really no wave clear. Nice Abther and Lyric taking the bottom keep. The ninja push. Nice. That couples therapy is actually, you know, pretty decent choice. I find that it definitely helps. Yeah, see safeguard right there, even with the Punisher smacking on Jaina, only like about 200 damage prevented. Just feels underwhelming, like preventing 200 damage with a skill at level 22. That's almost equivalent of like a 200 point shield, right? At level 22, that's, that's actually really bad. I'm not going to try to sugarcoat it, that's actually really bad. But I do get it, it is situational, but it might be a little too situational. Even, okay, looks like they're getting uh, mercenary camp. I don't know if, what we can do to contest this, to be honest. Jane is going to go in first, which is scary. If, if she had gotten hit with that gravity lap, she would not be here right now. Just sticking together. Just got to be so careful of their damage post level 20. clean things up I think we're gonna make our stance at the next shrine we've done a good job at keeping mid and bottom alive though so they, they don't have those forts but on the other side that also means that's a bunch of experience for them to take if they do manage to wipe us and giving them a huge level lead Oh, that mule from Abathur. Dude, I feel like this Abathur is like the unspoken MV MVP of this game. He's actually been doing a really good job at soaking different lanes, going around. We're going to get the mercenary camp here. Just because not too much else to do on the map. Shrine is activating bottom. Core is exposed, so the option of going for that dream medevac dropship play is there. Ooh, Kelthus is top. I might want to do a... Medivac dropship to gank Kelthus. Maybe we can gank him and then rotate bottom for the. Oh god, never mind. I just saw Kelthus leaving. That was a terrible dropship. Oh god. Oh my god. Okay. Anyways, just gonna rush down here. I'm like face palming myself. That was so bad. Uh oh, Illidan coming out of the bushes. I need to be careful. Stay way back. Stay out of sight too. Jane is getting hunted. 
cleanse and heal should be fine that storm shield is going to help as well gazebo has got a great spot for the ravenous spirit so i'm confident this fight is going to go our way johanna is dropping low Dillidan is really low he's not gonna be able to get any kills as long as i'm near Zebo is low as well I'm gonna heal him back up but he's got a lot of health at this point so I'm not too worried about him getting popped Jaina though gonna bring her up nice we got a double kill this Punisher is definitely gonna go our way and I think we're gonna be able to finish off this game I'm gonna go for that redemption dropship right now because the one up top was so bad we're gonna go for the dream backdoor dropship as soon as we summon this Punisher Nice, Illidan goes down as well. That's going to be great. Here we go. Dropship onto the core. Everybody's in. Lifting off. And here we go. I think they're not going to have time to react to this. Especially with the Arcane Punisher follow-up. I think this is gonna be game right here. Yeah, even with the Jaina clone, I'm gonna try to keep everybody alive. But good game. Hope you guys enjoyed that match on Infernal Shrines here. Um, got to see a little bit of what Medic can do. I think versus that Illidan, Medic was really great. I just kind of nullified Illidan's dive. Whoever he dived on, I just cleansed Healing Beam and Protective Shield, and Illidan just cannot take them down. So she seems to be good against dive comps where they dive one hero really hard but i can tell if he's going up against an aoe comp that spreads out the damage a little bit more uh she's gonna find herself uh kind of having a hard time healing everybody and keeping everybody up anyways this is balance perfect hope you guys enjoyed this match and i'll see you guys on the next video peace